Indu has snubbed Bangladesh's request for a bilateral meeting between Yunus and Prime Minister Modi during BIMSTEC summit. Dassault Aviation has said that it will be able to deliver three Rafale per month from 2026, and four Rafale per month from 2028. The European Union has announced its intention to buy more European-made weapons, and have excluded procurement of weapons and platforms from most companies located in the US, UK and Turkey from its new €150 billion Euros defense fund. Multiple top US officials are scheduled to visit India in coming weeks, and the sale of F-35A to India is the main agenda. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has signed a contract with a German shipping company for the construction of 7th and 8th multipurpose vessel worth $108 million. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders held the plate cutting ceremony for the third next generation offshore patrol vessel, and second fast patrol vessel for the Indian Coast Guard. Zeus Numerix has successfully completed trials of UAV dropped munitions in the 3 kg to 25 kg class with in-house developed ejector rack. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for proposal for the procurement of 11 rigid hull boats under by Indian category. The Indian Army has released a request for information for the procurement of high-altitude logistic drones and medium-altitude logistic drones with 40 to 60 kg payload and up to 10 km range. 23 Indian Air Force bases have received Advanced Integrated Perimeter Security System, and another 20 bases are being equipped. The Indian Army is procuring 54 sets of inflatable mock-up bridges to bolster its battlefield deception tactics. The Aeronautical Development Agency has said that the Tejas Mark II will be equipped with advanced mission computers and processing systems that are capable of absorbing software updates at frequent intervals that will eliminate the traditionally slow and painstaking update process, which often takes months to implement. The new software architecture will enable the Indian Air Force and Hindustan Aeronautics to roll out regular updates to refine aircraft performance, enhance combat readiness allow it to adapt quickly to new threats, and even integrate newer sensors. Aeronautical Development Agency have confirmed that the upgrade cycle could be as frequent as weekly, thus reducing dependency on major software overhauls that previously required extensive testing and validation before deployment, keeping the Tejas Mark II Squadron's mission ready at all times. The DRDO has achieved a breakthrough in the maintenance of stealth technology with the development of specialized chemical handling process tailored for the AMCA. Unlike conventional aircraft that rely on routine washing and upkeep, the DRDO has developed a specialized process that involves a suite of chemical formulations and application techniques designed to clean repair and reapply stealth coatings without degrading their radar absorbent properties, ensuring the AMCA withstands the rigors of operational use while preserving the stealth profile. Nearly 15 years after its initial proposal, the Indian Army's future main battle tank program remains stuck, as the general staff qualitative requirements outlining the tank's detailed specifications are yet to be issued. Without the Army GSQR, the future main battle tank vision remains theoretical. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment stands ready to lead the effort, but the absence of Army direction has left the project dormant. With T-72 retirements looming, the Army must decide whether to revive the indigenous FMBT program with a clear GSQR, or fully commit to the FRCV program in collaboration with a foreign partner, or pursue a hybrid approach leveraging the RDO's expertise alongside foreign collaboration. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.